<laughs> ah, much better. The sun is murder today. I swear, Clank, I'm done with all that hero stuff. Now let somebody else save the universe and... <sighs> I need a little me time. If there is trouble, then it is our duty to ensure that... <sighs> What'd you do that for? Whoa, whoa, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking pictures for my school project. I'm doing a report on heroes, and I recognize you from the newspaper. You're Ratchet, right? Well, I see you have a knack for recognizing greatness. I was wondering if it would be possible to get some pictures of you doing some heroic action. Well, I would, but there's really not much heroic work to do around here. Oh, I can lift Clank over my head, though. How about that? I was thinking maybe you could fight some robots or something. I know where you could find them. I do have a massage scheduled in 15 minutes, but... Uh... Oh, what the heck. <laughs> I could use a bit of exercise. Come on, buddy. Let's put on a good show for our little reporter here. I am going to regret this. I can't wait to show everyone the pictures! Quark? Uh, Clank! What a coincidence! What are you doing here? I am trailing Ratchet and Clank to see what they are doing, so I can join in on their next adventure. Hey, that's what I'm doing! Uh, no, wait, I, I mean, I... I, I uh... Do you not have somewhere else to go? Home to your family, perhaps? Hey, Quark. Nice hat. <laughs> Sorry, Cork. What? Was that your mother's hat or something? Seriously, dude, it's just a hat. It's not that. It's my mother and father. I never knew my family. I was given up for adoption as a baby and was raised by monkeys. Okay. Uh, thanks for sharing. Perhaps you should attempt to find your real parents. There she is! Get her! Well, looks like I'm gonna be late for my massage. Let's go! Target acquired. Proceeding to Galadon. I can't believe we lost her. Why would they want a little girl? Hmm. I do not believe they were after her. I believe they were after this. Well, uh, this is, uh, uh... What is this? If my memory bank serves me correctly, I believe it is a Technomite artifact. Yeah, right. Seriously, what is it? It is a Technomite artifact. Look. Clank, that girl is in trouble and we can help her. Technomites are just some fairy story that parents tell their kids to explain how technology works. They don't really exist. I believe they do exist, and this could prove it. That is why those robots wanted that child to get this object. Did we? Did you? <laughs> Ooh, that was quite a jog. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme! I haven't seen one of these since... Well, I've never actually seen one, but I've heard stories about the Technomites and their mystical objects. There are no Technomites! But this is our only lead. If you want to help that girl, we should follow the coordinates etched on the side. Fine. Let's get out of here. See ya, Quark. And please, stay out of our way this time. The Technomites appear to have abandoned this area. Yeah, the Technomites are real tricky that way. All right, let's get this over with. Where are we going? Well... I'd go that way. Well, that's just me. Oh, Quark. Why can't you just leave us alone? Look, I can help you. I've been here before. Do you know where we should take this object? Of course I do. But what's in it for me? You want to find your family, right? Uh-huh. 
Well, if you tell us where to go, you can stay here and use our ship's computer to research your family history. Ooh, great idea! I'll do it! Quark, where do we take the artifact? I try that big building. For some reason, the good stuff is always in the biggest buildings. Thanks, Quark. You've been helpful. Those cameras just keep coming. What should we do? Just ignore them. They are probably an automatic security system. All right, let's keep moving. They blow up real good, though. Whoa! Hang on there. Now be careful with that. Whew, that was a close one. Now, let me have that water pistol, little fella. It works! <laughs> I finally perfected my Sproutomatic! Sproutomatic, you say? How does it work? By shooting mimic plants, you can make them follow you. Then, by using it to water electro soil, the plant will hop in and transform itself into a platform, a creature, whatever you need! <laughs> Did you hear that, Ratchet? That would come in very handy. Yeah. Great. Since you helped with the final test, I will give you this prototype to try for yourselves. Wow! Yeah. Great. It's locked. Well, looks like we'll never find out what that weird doohickey is. Come on, let's go. I am able to squeeze through this crevice. Wait here, and I will unlock it from the inside. All right. Just don't take all day. Ratchet. <laughs> How do we know this whole place won't explode when you put that on there? We do not. See, I told you. Big waste of time. This is so cool. What do you think it is? It is a Technomite map room. They built these rooms to keep track of the planets they inhabited. This one is Caladon. Hey, that's where that robot soldier said he was taking the girl. Exactly. And here are its coordinates. I have never seen these coordinates on any other maps. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go get her. This does not seem right. It has been too easy. Easy? How's about I ride around on your back while you do all the fighting? I mean that if the Technomites want to stay hidden, they are making it awfully easy for us to find them. I did it! I found my real family! I was poking around on the computer when I got a message from some company called FauxFamily.com. It's my entire family tree! I... I've got it. I've got to get to them! Good luck with uh, whatever that was you were doing. Fofamily.com? Does that seem odd to you? Whatever. At least he's out of here. Let's get moving. Wow! Thank you guys! You are so heroic! I never introduced myself. My name is Luna. Well, Luna, we should leave before any bad guys show up. But I haven't had a chance to tell my friends about your heroic deeds. Uh, you mean your friends, right? Ratchet, that is very insensitive. No, I mean friends. They will be surprised it was so easy to capture such stupendous superheroes. That is very good, Luna. Now try. She sells seashells by the... Hey! He was just trying to help! You've both been very helpful. The cameras that have been following you have captured your every move. And now, we have the information we need. We? Yeah, we got him. 
This was just too easy. Tweaking the old engine, eh? Why, why, why? What have, we, what have you heard? Who are you? I mean, what are you doing here? Did the committee send you? Sorry, sir. We did not mean to upset you. Yeah, well, you know, you can't be too careful these days, right? I mean, first they accuse me of using nanoroids, right? Then they say I'm like I'm using legal alternative fuel. Do I look like a cheater to you? Uh, no. Not at all. You seem A-OK -okay to me. All right, here, man. Let's race. And I'll prove I'm not a cheater. If you can beat me, I'll have a surprise for you. So, you said you'd give us something if we beat you? This is a shrink ray. They are very difficult to acquire. I hear, man. You can add these two. Ugh, they're way too slippery for me to use. Where am I? They must have blasted you good, soldier. You're on planet Metallus in the middle of Robot War 3. Metallus? The last thing I remember is talking to Luna, and then... Whew, that was a close one. You better get moving, soldier, or you're gonna end up like me. <laughs> Scrunch? <laughs> you have seen Ratchet? You know where he is? Processing of subject 261-595 is now one-third complete. Begin internal examination. I must get to him immediately. Downloading coordinates. Bigger scalpel, Doctor. Oh, there, big guy. We're just getting started. Now, if you don't like the sight of blood, you might want to close your eyes. It is okay, Ratchet. You can come in. It is safe inside this door. Ratchet! Ratchet! Come on, Ratchet, wake up! You must wake up. There is still so much to do. I knew something was odd about that Luna girl. This is all my fault. You must wake up. There is still so much to do. I knew something was odd about that Luna girl. This is all my fault. Hey, it wasn't your fault. I'm just too stubborn sometimes. You can hear me? Uh, yeah. You're standing right here. Nice to have you back. Where are we? We were both double-crossed by Luna. I do not know why she did it, but I saw a video of you undergoing some tests. They were extracting something from you. Uh, that's weird. I've got a major headache, but other than that, I feel okay. Well, if we are going to get to the bottom of this, the first thing we need to do is get out of here and find Luna. It's okay, Quick. I'll handle this one. I, uh, think you got him, Ratchet. I'm just getting started. What is this place? I believe it is a laboratory of some sort.
Nobody messes with me like this. We must leave before it is too late. This station is about to explode. We must leave now. Here it is. Luna's last entry. The tests are complete, Emperor Otto. I'm headed to the city with the package now. Excellent. Are you sure the contents are perfect? Quite sure. We created one subject and it took 26 of our best warriors to destroy it. How are things coming on your project? I planted the fake evidence. Quark's weak mind is so easy to manipulate. <laughs> I will contact you when the delivery is completed. Luna, out. I have the coordinates. Okay, 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 here's the deal. I got these two identical skyboards for us to use, right? We'll race one more time to prove who's the best. Is that a polarizer attached to your dark matter acceleration module? Whoa, so it is. Man, I never really noticed it before. So what do you think, Runt? You wanna give it another go? I'll give you the polarizer if you beat me. The stupid piece of junk never worked right anyway. It makes magnets change polarity so that they either push or pull when you... Never mind. Thank you, sir. This doesn't look too hospitable. Maybe they put in false coordinates to throw us off the trail. Wait, do not throw that. Whoa, look at this. It's a hover car. Good eyes, pal. I was about to toss our only hope halfway across the planet. There she is! Let's get her! Ratchet, do you notice anything unusual about Luna? Well, she does seem to have an unusually large door in the back of her head. And why do you suppose that is? She's, um, uh, uh, robot? Correct. I believe the Technomite set us up from the beginning. What I do not know is why. Yeah? Well, I bet those Technomites inside her head know why. And now I'm gonna find out. <laughs> It appears we will have to catch her first. So, the courageous superheroes finally catch the little girl. We know what you are, Luna. What we don't know is why. We knew you'd fall for it, Ratchet. You can't resist playing the hero. We just needed to get you to our lab so we could extract your DNA. And this was the easiest way to do it. But why do you need his DNA? We Technomites are tired of being taken advantage of. Everyone uses our technology, but no one gives us credit. Our robots are strong, but as you have demonstrated, they are no match for Ratchet. So, we're making our own Ratchets. What? Using our advanced cloning technology, Emperor Otto has begun creating an entire army of Ratchets. His clone factory is churning them out as we speak. You are already too late to stop him. The construction of this robot is more advanced than anything I have seen. Hey, advanced or not, she took the factory coordinates with her when we, um, well, disabled her. I believe I may be able to interface with her to retrieve those coordinates. I don't know, Clank. Something this advanced must have security programs to keep you from doing that. I am sure I will have no trouble avoiding whatever security she has installed. Here we go. Pass the cerebral shield. Avoid the mainframe intake security protocol. 
And... Bingo. You got it? Yes. The coordinates are... <laughs> Clank! Oh, no. Now what? I got it. Here I come, Clank. Hang on! You got short-circuited when you interface with Luna. Hmm. She must have had a level 9 access protocol installed, which activates retroactively oh, when I... Oh, of course she did. Right before you conked out, you said you found the clone factory coordinates. Accessing? Yes, I do have them. I cannot believe I was stupid enough to make such a simple mistake. It happens to the best of us, pal. The important thing is, you got the coordinates. I suppose you are right. We should get going. Hands in the air! Now turn around very slowly. Who are you? I'm Clank Security Backup. Uh, come online whenever his power's out to protect his circuitry. Hey! You're Ratchet, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, I thought you were another one of them soldiers that came marching through here. I think they're trying to get in the old memory bank. Well, I'm here to get rid of them and figure out how to wake Clank. Well, if you can get all the soldiers out of here, I'll throw the auxiliary switch to turn Clank back on. I can't do it until all the soldiers are gone, though. Great work! Now, stand back, son. You better get out of here before the automatic virus detection program comes online and hunts you down. By the head for the mouth, if I were you. Don't believe it. Another dead end. You lose a contact or something? Just as I suspected. Of course! The factory shrunk. Well, let's stomp around until we squish it, huh? I do not think it will be that easy to find. Fine. This little Emperor Otto should be a piece of cake anyway. Let's get shrinking. Very nice to see you, although I'm sure you've seen enough of yourself already. <laughs> Otto, I am sorry that no one gives you credit for your work, but there are other ways to earn respect. <laughs> you actually bought that cheesy story. This isn't about credit for our work or respect or whatever nonsense you have come to believe. This is about power, and what is more powerful than intelligence? The Rhino? Nothing is stronger than the power of the mind. Do you see this area behind me? That is what this has all been leading up to. I have developed the technology to transfer the intelligence from the being in one chamber to the being in the other. What? After I have grown these clones to full size, I'm going to use my ratchet army to gather every intelligent being in the solar system. Then, I will transfer all of their brain power to me to become the most intelligent entity the universe has ever known. That is pure evil. <laughs> None of this will happen until you get by us. Easier done than said. Looks like Otto overlooked one thing. I'm not half as good without you. True. Papa! Is 
that you? Yes, it's me, you idiot. I mean, son. Now be a good boy and get those two out of here. Papa! Why did you make Quark so tiny? I've got a job to do, son, and it's time I take care of your little playmates. Ooh, nice shooting. Very clever, too. <laughs> now, where were we? This is getting better all the time. Can I have a piggyback ride? You should be more careful. You almost hit me with that. What is it, pal? These are Quark's real parents. Scrunch says they were killed by defective equipment created by the Technomites. Wow, that really bites. Should we tell Quark? I think he already knows. So now, because of him, I'll never know my real parents. I recognize your parents from the photo. They were great superheroes in their day. You should be very proud. Somehow, I don't think pride is what he's after. How could you do something so evil? You knew the truth and you used it against me to get what you wanted. Now, I'm going to get what I want. <laughs> what are you doing? You don't know how it works! You think I'm an idiot, do you? Well, how about having this brain instead of yours? You want intelligence? You're about to get... the. Uh, the opposite of that. I don't think that's such a good idea, Quark. Why don't you climb out of there and let's see if we can calm you down a bit, huh? Yes, Quark. You should consider what you are about to do. Otto is right. You do not know the effect of this machine. At this point, I don't care. No. Now what are we gonna do with him? It appears that Scrunch just added another family member. Great. Can we get out of here now? I've got another massage scheduled on Pokotaru in an hour. You got it. So get your battle ratchet today! It's the most realistic fighting toy ever created! Warning, Battle Ratchet is a living creature that may behave unpredictably. Do not keep Battle Ratchet in original package unless sufficient air holes are provided. Well, I'm glad they found a use for those things. Yes, and they seem to do a good job of keeping Quark company. <laughs> so there I was, faced identical with a squid beast of Oceana 8. I pulled out my trusty electro gun, but the salt water had shorted it out. <laughs> hey! I was just getting to the good part! He may be small, but his ego is still big, huh? <laughs>